hour with Leslie Roberts and Ann Muskowski. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Leslie and Anne are away tonight. We begin with a story that showcases the best and worst of human nature. Over the past 24 hours, a video of students viciously taunting a 68-year-old grandmother on a school bus has gone viral. Around the world, it has sparked outrage at the bullies and sympathy for the victim. Now a Toronto man who was moved to do something to help has been overwhelmed by a flood of others who want to do the same. Here's Marianne DeMaine. Karen, you're fat. You're so fat. You take up like the whole JC. From incessant insults. I don't want her to freaking touch my ear, but she's gonna get her freaking sweat all over it. To relentless verbal taunts. It's a shocking video of abuse. Even more shocking, the victim is a 68 year old bus monitor. The bullies, 12 and 13 year old students. I wanted to punch him, is what I wanted to do. So that's why I stayed laid back and just tried to ignore it. It all happened on a bus in upstate New York near Rochester. The 10 minute long cell phone video shows Klein, an employee with the school board for two decades, sitting in a bus seat trying to ignore the bullies who poke and threaten her. But eventually the offensive language brings her to tears. And it got worse. Something about me being so fat and ugly, your kids probably should commit suicide. I don't think they knew that my son had. The online video quickly got more than one million views, one of them by a Toronto man who was so affected by what he saw, he knew he had to step in and help. I was bullied as a kid a little bit and uh, it just felt heartbreaking to see someone get bullied like that. So Max Sidorov started a website hoping to raise $5,000 to send Klein on a vacation. In 24 hours, donations shot to more than $200,000. Enough for Klein, who makes less than 20 grand a year, to retire. Very glad that there's so many good, kind-hearted people out there who can donate and support such a cause. Bullying is a hot topic, documented in movies, even the source of much debate in the legislature. And while experts say parents need to talk to their children about the repercussions, all of these lessons have to start at home from day one. Adults should also take responsibility. If adults don't intervene, if they don't stop the bullying, if they don't support the child who's being victimized, then it's just going to keep on going. All of the students will be punished. Police may also be involved. Students found to be involved with face will face strong disciplinary action. Klein does not plan to quit her job, but had these words for her bullies. I hope you never do it again to anybody else. Marianne DeMaine, Global News.